Hi, my name is Jackson, and this is how I made my very own woven tapestry sweater. If you're interested in fashion or streetwear to any degree, chances are you've seen a ton of these pop up all over the internet recently. After about five minutes of poking around on Instagram, I found about a dozen different people making these things, so it's safe to say they're pretty popular. I average out the prices of all these brands to be around $195 a piece. Now that's a lot of money, so I decided to do more research on what goes into making these guys. After doing some digging, I found out pretty much all these pieces are handmade, and the only real challenge when trying to make one is finding out where to source the fabric from. A lot of small brands like to keep this information pretty secret, and for good reason. Giving out information about their manufacturers and suppliers could lead to a lot more competition. Turns out after doing some digging through Reddit for about half an hour, I found a few different places where you can find this fabric. Alibaba, Collage, and Walmart are three super common options. Or you can do what I did and go with Shutterfly. On their website, I found a 54 by 70 inch woven tapestry that you could add your own image to, then they make it and ship it out to you for around $70 to $130. So I opened up Photoshop and I got to designing. I'm making this sweater for my brand Jackalope. Um, there's a link in the description to my website, but anyways, all I had to do to design it was find a non-copyrighted image of a Jackalope, throw it into Photoshop, mess around with the image for a while, then once I was satisfied I just exported my image, sent it off to Shutterfly, and the fabric showed up at my doorstep in about two weeks. To start off making this sweatshirt, I found an old champion hoodie that I really liked the fit of, and I threw it down on the tapestry and used it as a reference to take a few measurements. I then cut out a tiny like 3 by 3 inch square, which I could use to better understand how the fabric would interact with my sewing machine. Next, I cut out four pieces for the sleeves and two pieces for the torso. Here, I pinned two of the sleeve pieces together and then set a small seam down both of the sides. I then repeated the process to make another sleeve. After that, I pinned and sewed both the torso pieces together. All I had left to do was sew both of the sleeves onto the torso, and I was done. And just like that, I had my very own woven tapestry sweater. Um, it took me forever to make, I did a lot of stuff off camera, um, cause it was my first time doing it, so I fucked up a lot. I put a lot of the panels on inside out, but I got it in the end. Um, I guess that's what matters. I also threw another seam on the bottom, and on the bottom of the sleeves and on the collar, um, to help it not fry, I guess. Yeah, it worked out really well. Now here are some of the pictures I got for the website. I'm super happy with the way they came out. I'm super happy with the way the sweatshirt came out. I love it. I love the fit. I love the feel. It's amazing. I think a lot of people who watch this video might be wondering if it's worth buying the ones I showed previously in this video or making your own. Personally, I made this one for my brand Jackalope and it took me a ton of time and effort to make, so I'd say it was definitely worth it for me. But although those brands I showcased earlier in the video seem pretty pricey, I can assure you they're worth it. These pieces take a ton of time and effort to make, and the people behind those brands are very talented. I hope that answers any questions regarding whether or not they're worth the price. Um, that's all I really have to say in this video. Make sure to subscribe and check out everything I linked in the description. I put a bunch of cool brands and my website and a bunch of other stuff down there for you to check out. Um, yeah, I have a bunch of cool videos planned, so stay tuned for those. Thank you for sticking to the end. Um, later.